I graduated from Mines and actually we didn't have any business or any management or leadership programs here. It was just strictly technical. There was always a, a passion to run my own company and, and, and innovate and I had ideas from day one. When you can have an idea, it's one thing, it's then, then how do you bring it to market? How do you, how do you uh, make it into commerce? And it takes um, insight from people that have been there before you. For myself, and uh, my wife, our businesses, we really relied on the Minds Network and the Minds community and others in industry to help us form our ideas. It's nice to see that that has been kind of formalized now on campus here. And obviously it gives us an opportunity to, to kind of stay connected to uh, potential entrepreneurs and come right out of school and start their own thing. Of my 50 year career, 35 years been on, you know, as an entrepreneur. And I'm hoping with the CNI program at Minds that the students will come out of here and not have to go through kind of the hard knocks that I went through. It took me 19 years to, to really figure out uh, what it was going to take. And, and this would have, this environment, this ecosystem that's being built, as I see it, is going to speed that process up tremendously. If you have uh, alumni or, or mentors or advisors that can give you those insights uh, before you hit your employment, it would be huge to have that background. Uh, and have that experience at least being mentored and, and given that exposure. Whether it ends in a successful product to market and a business or whether it ends in a lesson learned can be just as valuable. And that's what this provides. Rather than having to get out in the real world first and, and then only get started, that process can start sooner. I think it's gonna really catapult the mind student for not only their own career, but also what they might do to give back to mine someday. The Labriola UNI environment, the whole complex itself, will really lend to that. The students will be uh, kind of continuing on on teams in the rest of their career. So being able to engage with team members, being able to, to innovate and collaborate with others who may be of the same discipline, who may be of different disciplines, that's going to lend really well to uh, the professional skill set that the students are developing. The entryway, we're going to walk into a, a cafe area. So it actually was a very important and intentional part. The first area you walk into, it's very open, it's very welcoming, and you get a sense of the two-story aspect of the building from in there. But if you go down the corridors of the first floor, this is the, this is the part of the building that's focused on classes and making stuff. We've got huge maker spaces in there on the first floor. We also have the Orson Capstone Lab in there. The second floor, again, is this very welcoming space. It's got all these kind of nooks and meeting spaces. They can go from a conference breakout room uh, with whiteboards and do some concepting right on over to the 3D printing lab and build, print, uh, prototype uh, their concept, uh, share it with stakeholders, reconceptualize it, go over to a computer, update the CAD model, print it again. If you want to innovate in the nonprofit uh, area uh, or in government or in any type of organization, that's just as important as starting your own startup. What we have in store is to put together a, a very extensive and rich and growing and expanding program that allows uh, people to find information and gain the skills that they need to really get very far in their innovation journey. And it's really amazing and thrilling to see how you can take a student sitting at a desk, maybe in a team, and they're discussing things together, and take them from that environment to a, a build space environment, and the light bulb just goes off. And I'm so excited to see how many light bulbs we can get to tick off as soon as we open up the space and invite them in to this amazing space that they're gonna have access to. It was really exciting. We've spent you know, months up to this point, designing the building and getting input from students and faculty, and it's going to really transform the campus.